If you're an experienced trader that thinks a stock, index, or ETF is going to trade around a specific price or a very narrow trading range, and you're willing to accept unlimited price risk, as well as maintain enough capital to cover margin requirements, then you can potentially profit from the short straddle. The short straddle, as a strategy, is employed by simultaneously selling both the at-the-money call and put on the same strike with the same expiration date. In essence, you receive two premiums from the short straddle, one from the call and one from the put. If you have executed your trade and option prices drop over time, you can buy both the call and the put back to close the trade at a cheaper price than you initiated. Keep in mind, if you initiate this trade to open, meaning you did not own the straddle previous to selling it, you have open-ended or unlimited risk while you are short the straddle. With respect to open-ended risk, should the stock make a large move in either direction before you exit the trade, you will likely incur a loss. Keep in mind, this is an advanced option strategy that requires margin and has high risk. Let's assume XYZ is trading at $100 and you don't believe it's going to stray from that price for the next few weeks. So you sell the 30-day $100 strike straddle for a net credit of $6, which in notional terms is $600 per short straddle. The best case scenario here would be to have the stock sit exactly at $100 until expiration. In this case, both the call and the put on the 100 strikes would expire without value, and you would be able to keep the full premium of the straddle you sold. However, many traders choose to buy to close both options prior to their expiration and exit the trade, thus eliminating assignment risk for the options. As long as you can close the trade for less than the credit you received when you opened, you will have a profitable trade. If you have to pay more than the credit received, you'll incur a loss on the trade. Assuming three weeks have passed and XYZ is still trading at $100, it's likely the straddle has decayed significantly and is now valued at $1. At this point, you would have a $5 unrealized profit and could then buy both options back to close the trade and walk away with your $500 profit per short straddle. But if you felt that the stock was going to continue hanging around the $100 mark, then you could keep the trade open in an effort to draw out more profit, as the straddle continues to decay in value toward its expiration. At any point before expiration, if the stock starts to move, you can buy to close the trade to avoid giving back any more profits, or even incurring a loss. However, if XYZ were to move in either direction through the theoretical break-even point, then the value of the short put or the short call can get quite expensive. If the stock moves significantly and your options show an unrealized loss, your broker may require additional margin or more money in your account to cover this risk. Remember, short straddles essentially incur open-ended or unlimited risk. If, however, the stock moves significantly to, say, $108, then it would cost you around $8 to close the straddle by buying the in-the-money 100 strike call, handing you a $2 loss or $200 notional per short straddle. As always, with short options, time decay is a large factor in pricing, especially as the options approach their expiration dates. Decay from time passing is generally a factor that tends to lower option prices, and thus straddle prices as well. It is likely that one of the options sold will finish in the money and will have some percentage chance of being exercised. If assignment is not desirable, you may buy back your short option positions prior to expiration. The only way to fully remove assignment risk is to close short option positions fully by buying them back to close. Keep in mind that implied volatility also plays a large part in option pricing and thus the price of the straddle. When you are short straddles, you want implied volatility to decrease so that you can profit from the prices of both calls and puts coming down in value. 
To learn more about the short straddle trade and other strategies, visit the OIC website, optionseducation.org.